I know what you're thinking. Another video from that bloke who says you should be playing Vanilla WoW in 2023. He's probably gonna go on and on about how timeless the game is and how great the experience can be for new and returning players, right? Wrong. In this video, I will show you the dark side of Vanilla World of Warcraft. There will be hope, oh my but then God. there will be despair. Whee! There will be pain. There will be an arduous, lengthy journey comparable only to traveling on the British railway system. Ugh. One day you think you're a hotshot rogue on your way to greatness. The next, you're just a washed up on-call locksmith. This video is the story of an epic journey in which I thought I'd hit the jackpot only to have it snatched away. My name is Vulgrin, my friends, let's go on an adventure. It always all starts with a whisper, right? You catch a hot Nell female, that's probably in truth a 35 year old Swedish man, looking for one more DPS to round out a solid group running Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. The true champion of dungeons, right? Wrong. Now I was game. I'd been questing in the wetlands for a bit, an experience best described as soggy and I was ready for a change, not least because I needed to replace my weapons. There's only so far you can go in this game when your main hand weapon looks like a kid's toy hammer from Fisher Price. So I slid into the DMs like a lubricated anal bead. <laughs> and after a few minutes of dialogue in which I confirmed that I was of course playing the class favored by all upstanding bank robbers, I got that sweet invite. There was just one problem. My destination was the Scarlet Monastery, 200 miles from my current location, separated from me by a lake, four zones, and of course the capital city of the Horde race, most famous for conducting multiple genocides, producing the highest per capita number of rogues in game, and of course, holding the record for the biggest single incident of arson in world history. In short, it was going to be a long and dangerous journey, but I was up for it. I'm interested if the uh, whole posse is going to Saddle up together and walk, I should say, our way to Scarlet Monastery. Some of the guys here are really fucking stacked, by the way. They're talking about their other characters. I think that a lot of them have done many uh, active tours of duty in TBC and RAP. I feel like I sound really, uh, like Butters from South Park. Oh, are we going to group up and run together, guys? <laughs> Through the gates we go. Remind me to repair my shit. I met up with the gang in South Shore and gave the tank a gift, which he seems to have erroneously thought was given out of the kindness of my heart. Somehow he didn't realize that he was receiving said gift from a rogue. This was obviously a bribe and I was expecting reimbursement further down the line, but we'll get to that bit later. Once everyone was assembled, we set forth. When I play an MMO, I want to feel like I'm wasting my Step time. What was it that Asmongold said? You want a game w which <laughs> makes you want to waste your time. I'm paraphrasing the great man himself, but you know, he said something along that and then he probably did that thing, you know, where he, um, he drank, he took a sip from his full fat American style Coca-Cola and then he put his, he did that with his right hand and then with his left hand, he kind of like smoothed back the few um, strands of, of hair, you know, kind of like Smeagol would. Y'all see this shit? You see this? I got a hair. I got a hairline and a Nintendo 64 controller. And then he probably said something like, "You know that that <laughs> I'm a fucking Texan accent. That's that's what it is. <laughs> Sometimes you get caught. Uh, but yeah." <laughs> Now I'll drop the act for a minute and just say this. Traveling long distances to dungeons is something that I personally love about Vanilla WoW. I get that a lot of people find this tedious and a waste of time, especially if you have a limited amount of time to play the game. But personally, I don't mind saving my dungeon runs for my days off work when I have some hours to relax and kill some bosses and getting to experience these lengthy journeys across the world, choosing as a group which route to take and avoiding the many dangers along the way it's a big part of the dungeon experience in Classic for me, and one of the main things that I feel nostalgic about when reminiscing over my own early days in WoW. So we made it across Lordamere Lake, and this was where I expected things to get really dicey. After all, a cheater, a rogue, and a gnome with a paintbrush for a hairdo were going to stick out quite noticeably when running directly between the Zeppelin Tower and the entrance to the Undercity. 
Now I was expecting to get thoroughly pasted here and then for my corpse to be promptly cannibalized. Fortunately, it went perfectly fine. I was almost hoping something interesting would take place because you know it would make good content and I have to earn that casual 5 million Bobby K is apparently paying me to play the game, right? But as you can see, nothing happened. I have to think this is because we put this group together at 8.30 in the morning, which is perfectly fine at this time of year to run a dungeon as an alliance character, as most of the player base on your side is on school vacation or not yet at kindergarten, whereas most of the horde were probably at work. <laughs> Sorry alliance, couldn't resist. We eventually made it to the monastery itself, and I have to take a moment to celebrate the glorious gothic atmosphere of this place. It actually reminds me a lot of something you'd see in the Legacy of Cain series, or the cathedral where you fight Tiamat in the first Darksiders game. Coming up the path and first being greeted by the hanging corpses dangling from trees before the spires of the monastery loom out of the darkness, it's great design, love it. We ran straight inside and it was time for your boy to get some loot. Now before you watch the next part, please note that we actually ran the dungeon three times because SM Graveyard is one of the shortest dungeons in vanilla and after such a long journey to the instance, None of us were keen on leaving empty-handed. Getting gear, and especially weapons, was my top priority. Please remember this as we proceed. Okay, let's go. Crippling poison level one, instant poison level one. I'm a bit of a big deal, yeah. Any quests? There's no quests in here. Right. No quests. Sad. Okay, look, guys, for guys in the first video, you know, I'm standing behind the mob as best I can, you know, I'm a good player, look, I'm a good player. Roll for the chest, my friends, or I'll just take everything in here. 41, fuck's sake. This warrior is getting tooled up because of me, I like to feel like I'm, I'm like his supplier. I'm having so much fun, guys, I just want to... I just got to take this moment to say I really appreciate all the support I've been getting, um, especially with the last video. I know there were a lot of people who disagree with the content of that video, but that's fine. To each their own. I am a, uh, perfectly happy to admit that, you know, Vanilla WoW isn't for everyone. For me, it is just absolutely... I could play this all day long. I love it. But um, there's nothing... There's no more fun for me than being sat in the Scarlet Monastery with a group of lads. Just having a good time, you know, just a group of boys in the monastery. Just enjoying it. Good times, good times, man. Oh, it's the it's in, interrogator. Vicious. Oh, is that supposed to be like he's vicious? Like Sid Vicious? What did you have for me? Ooh! Ooh! I think I'll need. I think I'll need. Give me them. Give me them. Yes, sir. What do they look like? They look decent. Oh, yeah. They look bigger. My shoulders are getting wider. It's a surefire way of knowing if you're improving at World of Warcraft. Do your shoulder pads get wider? What did he get? If he got some leather, I'll be pissed. What did he get? Sweet nectar, wool cloth, a wild hog shank. Large knapsack. 12 slot bag. Come on, man. It has all come to this, gentlemen. Final fight. Blood Mage Thanos. Damn it. I'm trying to get behind you. Let me get behind him. Don't remember anything about this boss, but it's vanilla, so you don't really need to know. And I kind of like that about vanilla, by the way, but you can basically just learn the mechanics on them there while you're on the fly. I'm sure pop evasion. I know he's not attacking me, but why not? Really? Can I... Can I um... Yeah, he's immune. I like how phantasms are, you know, perfectly capable of being ruptured. But uh, this guy over here, kick him and he, and he yeah. There is Blood Mage Mantle. Kind of shit, to be honest. Not something I'm interested in, but it fucking happened again, right? Fucking Warlock gets the Agility Cloak. It's gonna go to your Twink Rogue. You mother. Three runs all completed and nothing to show for it but some slightly wider shoulder pads that look like the seat of a shitty World War II bike. It wasn't enough. I knew there had to be more. I hadn't come all this way to leave empty-handed. And then, it happened. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay. Right. Alright, okay. Alright. So lads. 
I know what you're all thinking. <laughs> Big money. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's it look like? Oh, it looks sick as fuck. It looks sick as fuck, man. I'm needing, fuck, fuck you. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. This goes to the fucking warlock, man. Oh, man, this is the best looking stuff. Now, I'd like to say that I took this series of unfortunate events in my stride and that I just laughed it off, did a couple of more runs with the guys, and then went back to levelling. In truth, I ran out of the dungeon, half back to Stormwind immediately, and logged off and had a bit of a cry. <laughs> and so, you find me here now, drowning my sorrows with... What is this? Ah, melon juice. <laughs> and so we come to the end of our tale, my friends. It was a long and tumultuous journey. There were highs, and there were lows. But I think that I learned something today about the rewards of friendship and personal sacrifice for a greater goal. I guess that the moral of the story is that it's not about the material rewards that we get from working together, but the memories we make that really count. Most importantly, if you as a rogue find yourself in a group and someone loots an item that you desperately need, what you should do is walk up to them with a smile, pat them on the back, and kill them. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this most recent installment in our classic series. I know a lot of you are new to the channel and I hope it didn't disappoint. Let me thank all of you for the amazing support you've given me over the last week. It's really motivated me to up my game and I cannot wait to share the next steps on our journey as well as other content that I've got lined up for you all. Until then though guys, be well, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye